ABNC, America's Black News Channel. Watch us on all major cable providers and major streaming platforms. Finally, news that speaks to us. For more drama in the Justice Molet case, uh, his lawyers filed an emergency injunction to free the Empire actor from Chicago's Cook County Jail immediately. The move comes after Smollett's family raised concerns about him being placed in the jail psych ward. Last week, a judge sentenced Smollett to 150 days behind bars for faking a hate crime on himself. And right now, Smollett is in protective custody, his choice, which uh, means he's in a cell by himself, constantly monitored by guards and cameras. One of his brothers, Jojo Smollett, and his uh, attorney, spoke with our Yodit Tawaldi on making the case. Um, Jesse's doing well. He's strong. He's strong-willed. Um, it's a, a difficult scenario. You know, he's in, he's incarcerated for a crime that we still contend to this day did not occur, hit this crime. Um, and to add the injury to insult, he's now not only been convicted, but now incarcerated for a crime that in most states in the United States, is not even a felony. Let's not forget, Jussie was uh, prosecuted once before. Uh, they reached a contractual agreement. He was fined $10,000, which he has never received back up until today. He was made to do community service, which he cannot undo. And then he was prosecuted a second time. Now, the reason for this prosecution was not any allegation that he bribed the former prosecutor or he did something illegal, uh, but it was just because they felt mm -hmm. the prosecutor was too lenient on him. And then they prosecuted him a second time, giving him 30 months probation, uh, made to pay restitution, which is unheard of, of $120,000, and made to pay the maximum of $25,000 fines and to do five months in jail. That's overkill, and that's punishing someone twice. So we. All right, so this is not going anywhere anytime soon. So let's bring in uh, Justice Correspondent Candace Kelly for more on this uh, small aid case. So uh, a family member is also saying they received a threatening phone call where someone said he should be treated like Abner Luima. I think people remember Luima uh, back in the late 90s uh, being brutalized uh, and raped uh, by an NYPD custody. Uh, will they investigate this? Is this going anywhere? Listen, you know, his family has great hopes and they certainly are fighting for him to be released right now. But, you know, it just it's not going to go anywhere. This isn't what typically happens, that you have a family that they make such a, an outpouring of cries that somebody is released. So while he is threatened online and maybe they did get a threatening phone call, quite frankly, a judge or attorneys and prosecutors might say that, Jesse, you are in protective custody right now. In fact, this might be mm. the safest place for you to be and that you are watched 24 hours. He has no privacy. As you said, he's very, very highly monitored. But at this point, this might be the safest place. So I don't think that this phone call um, or anything that the family is saying right now will do anything to actually get him out of jail because that's just not how it works. If that, if that is the case, then a lot of people would be out of jail because no family member wants to see another family member in jail. So, Candace, what, what are they asking for in this emergency motion? So in this emergency motion, they are ultimately asking for Jesse to be let out. They want that to happen perhaps one of two ways. One, they want there to be bail money so that they can post that bail and that during the appeal uh, of everything, that he can stay at home and that he can be confined. Or they want to stay in his sentence, meaning that they're asking the judge to let him out and if he uh, follows certain guidelines and certain prescriptions from the court, basically, if he is good, then that will also stick in terms of uh, during his appeal time. Ultimately, either case, though, they're asking for Jesse Smollett to be let out. Again, this is something that you would expect from a judge, that you would expect from a family, but it really doesn't have that mm -hmm. much weight. And here's the reason why, Mike. We know that, uh, you know, as his attorney said in, in the, the clip from your deep show, that he was already given probation. He was already given community service. He was already fined. So we know at this point that going through this process again, they don't want him on probation. They did this again to put him behind bars. I don't think it could have ended up being the same result as he did as it was before. It wouldn't have made sense because they would have arrived at the same conclusion. I don't think the prosecutors are going to move on this anyway. 150 days, he's probably only going to serve 75 of those days for good behavior. And there's a day-to-day -day correlation that they give when somebody is in jail uh, in terms of this type of felony. So do you think this is a waste of time from his attorneys? I know they got to try. Obviously, they're his attorneys, and they got to do 
whatever is in his and his family's best interest. But what are the chances that they can appeal and get this conviction overturned? I think that they actually have a good chance. I mean, all that said before, and that he, I think he should, mm. you know, be behind mm. bars right now. During the the appeal of this, they have a very good chance of ultimately getting him out through that way, not through asking for bail, but through an appeal because of the fact that they had an mm. agreement in place that they defied that agreement, and then they went back and prosecuted mm. him with special prosecutor Dan Webb. He already made an agreement. That's what courts and, and, and uh, the, the, the law is based upon. Here's an agreement, whether it's a plea agreement, whether it's a contractual agreement, whether it's the agreement uh. that Bill Cosby made. We know that that can yeah. be overturned. You need to stick to what you mean, and you can't lie in the process of getting justice. So I, I don't think that um, he has a small chance in this appeal. I think he has a big chance of appealing this conviction. Yeah, you, you did make me uh, think back to uh, the Bill Cosby situation, uh, the previous district attorney, and then the, the next district attorney coming in and, and um, not uh, acknowledging the, uh, the, uh, the agreement that they had with the previous one as well. Uh, we'll see it's where this goes, deal. Candace. Uh, of course, I know we'll... You, you, yeah, exactly. We know you'll be all over it, and of course, we'll be all over it right here as well on Start Your Day. Uh, we'll talk to you a little bit later on.